not going to hold all the people that will stream to it. I want to divide uh, the rest of my time into two different groups. First of all, I want to talk to our young people, and you older folks can listen if you want. And then we'll switch and, and talk. So you can decide which part you want to listen to and which part you want to sleep through. Okay, young people. From this text, I want, to say, I want to suggest four things to you. Number one is this. Look for the people with God's measuring line. Look for the people that carry around the measuring stick of God. You know, not everyone measures things the same way. Not everyone is going to have the same standard of measurement. As we think about that, there are some who want to trust in things like science and human wisdom or some partial truth. And there are those kind of people, they will measure everything that happens in earth based upon their conception of things and their perception. And let me tell you something. When I was a young person, and I know that's back before the earth cooled, when, when I was a young person and we had science class, we really had science class. The word science means knowledge. Science at its basic level is a search to know. And in the process of knowing, science developed a method of reasoning. It's called the scientific method. Some of you studied that way back. You develop your hypothesis, you test it, you analyze the information. Again, that was science. Do you know what science is today? Science is guesswork. That's all it is. It's all theorized. And we, we can thank, you know, Darwin and some of his, uh, his, his predecessors for, for getting us to the point where you don't need evidence anymore. You just need something that sounds good. And so, you know, we struggle with... The, you know why there's such turmoil about global warming? It's because there's people that look at evidence and there's people who just make up theory. That's the problem. So which side of the fence, do, you know, what are we going to believe? Well, it depends. Are you listening to somebody that's looking at evidence or somebody that's making up theory? So young people, look for people that measure things by God's standards, not by the standard of humanity. Look for those who measure all things by the standard of God. You know, what happens in our life does not happen by karma. It doesn't happen by luck. It happens by providence. It happens by the measuring of God. Young people, find people who measure every event in their life by God's standard. Number, uh, oh, this passage. Oh, don't worry. We wouldn't dare say that we are as wonderful as those other men who tell you how important they are. But they are only comparing themselves with each other, using themselves as a standard of measurement. How ignorant. The translations we're more familiar with say, don't be as bold as to compare yourselves by yourselves. That describes so many in the world. Number two, young people, when you don't understand, please ask questions. Please ask questions. There is never a silly spiritual question. It doesn't exist. There is no spiritually silly question. And young people, even if you know the right answer, but yet you have some uncertainties, don't just recite the rote right answer because you know that's what people want to hear. I want to urge you to address your uncertainties, to ask the question. The reason why you can ask the question is because faith possesses the answer. Even though we walk by faith and not by sight, 2 Corinthians our biblical faith still is not an ignorant faith. It is a faith that is based upon reasonable, coherent answers. And that's why Peter will tell us that we need to be prepared to give a reason for the hope that we have. There is reason 
for the hope that faith contains. Young people, ask the questions. Ask the questions. Number three, listen to the answers. Listen to the answers. You know, I think young people, I was one at once and uh, raised a few and have been around a number of them. I think one of the problems that sometimes young people have is they ask questions, but they're really not wanting answers. They're not really ready to listen. And there, is, there isn't any value in, in just asking the question to be argumentative. I could take a poll, but I won't because the kids wouldn't answer anyhow. <laughs> Has it ever worked for you with your parents to be argumentative? Has that ever got you where you thought it was going to get you? Yeah, three weeks grounded. You know, I mean, that's really where you wanted to be. Usually, being argumentative doesn't get us where we want to be. Listening to an answer, do you think that might get you where you want to be? Hmm, Try it. I challenge you. If there is someone willing to speak to this young man, then the young man had better be willing to listen. Jesus will warn anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. Not just tolerate, not just put it up, put up with it, but listen and understand. Number four, develop a heart that trusts the Lord. Develop a heart that trusts the Lord. Jerusalem was in shambles. If you uh, have seen, and obviously you have seen, I guess just last night on the news they released some pictures of actually inside some of the, uh, the nuclear reactors. Uh, just phenomenal damage in there. But uh, you've, you've seen all of this. This, this, is, this. this was how Jerusalem would have looked during the time when the angel showed up and measured the city. It would have looked like this. So just imagine that this young man is hearing about how things are going to change, how God's going to make a difference. He's called upon to trust When we think about uh, the things that are impossible with humanity, I want you to imagine how possible things are with God. From the human standpoint, how much sense would it make? Here's a scene from Japan. How much sense would it make for any of us to show up there with that? I mean, just stand in the pile of rubble and open up your tape measure. That doesn't make much sense, does it? I mean, you you got to clean out the muck, you got to re you know survey all. Just show up with the tape line. That's what Zerubbabel was was hearing. Guy shows up with the tape measure. The city's looking like this. What are you doing? I'm measuring how long it is and how wide it is. Why? Because walls aren't going to be big enough to hold everybody's going to live here. Really? You see trust. You see this. Young man, trusting what God had planned to do. When things seem impossible, God is always there. When things are hurtful and you're filled with pain, God always cares. You can trust God because he is God. Truth is, young folks, your parents sometimes are not going to be there for you. They're going to let you down. The truth is, sometimes the church is not going to be there for you. They're going to let you down. The truth is, your teachers, your coaches, people in your life are not going to be there. Your best friend's going to hurt you. It's going to happen. But you know what? God is always there. Always. Trust him. Looking at them, Jesus said, with people it is impossible, but not with God. For all things are possible with God. Develop that kind of trust. No temptation Paul will write, has overtaken you or no experience uh, uh, that other, than what others have experienced. And God is faithful and he will not allow the temptations to be more than you can stand. And when you're tempted, he will show you a way out so that you can endure it. God's always there. God is always there. All right. Wake up to our mature. Just three things. The young people get four The older you get, it's harder to remember, so we'll drop it down to three. (laughs) Number one, get your priorities right. Get your priorities right. 
The first angel represents the danger of the mature. We get preoccupied with the programs at the expense of people. We're so driven towards the things that are important, the vital sometimes gets forgotten. So here's this angel, shows up to measure the city, tells the, the young Zerubbabel what's going on, and then moves on to the task. And all he's done is created questions in the heart of, of, Zerub, of, of Zerubbabel, Zachariah. And all he has done is created those questions, and he hasn't even stuck around to really deal with that young person at all. More concerned with just getting things done. The vital and the important. What is what? I'm told that when uh, Ike was elected, and I think that was actually a, year I was, a couple years after I was born, so it gives you some idea. When Ike was elected president, he'd been a general, been a good general, admired 